Good morning, Grade 7 Diamond. How are you today? Are you excited to know what is our lesson? Okay, so before that, everybody please stand up. Can I request Russell to lead our prayer? In the name of the Father, and Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In this class, I want you to observe the following netiquette. First, arrive in the class on time. Second, respect others' opinions and ideas. Third, focus on the lecture. Fourth, participate in the activities. Five, give your very best. So, please clean up any trash that you see under your chairs before taking your seats. Okay, so you may take your seats now. May I know who is your class secretary? Okay, Vera, please check the attendance and indicate who are the absent for today. Okay, seems that there is no absent. That's great. Let's give ourselves five claps. One. Okay, class, I have here an activity for you. Our activity is titled, You Guess, I Hum. Instruction, I will hum a song and you will identify what is it. When answering, you will execute five clubs and you will shout hooray at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Hooray! The first person who will execute five clubs and shout hooray will be acknowledged first. Note, don't interrupt while I am humming. When I say go, you will start answering okay do you understand class okay first song go one two three four five hooray Bahay Kubo. Very good, Ermi. That's correct. Second song. <laughs> Go. One, two, three, four, five. Sit, 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 alibang bang. Very good, Janine. That's right. Third song. Go! One, two, three, four, five. Leron, Leron, Sinta! Very good, Jane. That's correct. Before we proceed to our next lesson, who can remember some musical symbols and concepts in your elementary days? Yes, Jenny? Correct. Notes and rests. Notes and rests are musical symbols on staff that designate when to play and when to not play. That's good, Jenny. Anybody else? Yes, Kyle? That's right. Treble clef and bass clef. Treble clef, also called the G clef, 
curls around the second line of the staff, while the bus clef is also called an F clef. Rubs around the highest F note on the bus staff. Everyone, please give 10 claps to Kyle and Jenny. Let's have an activity before we proceed to our discussion. Our activity is entitled, Identify Me, I'm Nameless. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Did you understand class? Okay, let's identify our first word. Very good. Kun Diman. Let's have our second word. Correct. Slow tempo. Third word. That's right. Poetic. Fourth word. Yes, Luzon Lowland. Last word. You're right, musical tradition. Okay, class, did you find the activity enjoyable? Yes, very good. What do you think our lesson for today is? Based on your responses in our activity. Yes, Leslie? Very good, Leslie. Kundiman. Do you have any idea what is kundiman? Did you already heard it? Okay, if you did not hear it, that's all right, class. Now that you have an idea about what our lesson is, let's nourish it more and add new learnings in your minds. Let's start. I have here a video presentation for you to further understand what is Kundiman. Let's watch the video. Today, we will learn about arts music, which is the kundiman, music of Luzon, Lowlands. The term kundiman comes from the Tagalog phrase kung hindi man, or if it were not so. Written in Tagalog language, these folk songs were subtly patriotic but typically disguised as love songs. The Kundiman, genre of music originated in the Philippines during the late 19th century and early 20th century. It is characterized by its heartfelt lyrics and melodic tunes. We have here examples of Kundiman songs in music of Luzon, Lowlands. First, we have here Nasaan Ka Irok. This Kundiman song was composed by Nicanor Abelardo, one of the most renowned Filipino composer. It is a heart-trending love song that expresses the longing and yearning for a loved one who is far away.
Second, we have Kundiman ng Luha. This Kundiman was composed by Francisco Sanchago, a prominent Filipino musician and composer. Kundiman ng Luha translates to Kundiman of Tears in English. It explores themes of heartbreak, sadness, and the pain of unrequited love. Third one is O Ilaw or Aking Bituwi, one of the most popular Kundiman compositions. The 1934 song, most notably rendered by Ruben Tagalog, was composed by Pau Corrales together with his wife Kea Adonso. This song has idyllic and glistening with sincere feelings of adoration. Sa gabing malamig, wangis mo'y bituin sa langit. O tanglaw, sa gabing tahimik, Characteristics of Kundiman Song First, we have its melodic patterns. Kundiman songs typically have a flowing and lyrical melody. The melodies often feature distinctive melodic turns, expressive slides, and occasional ornaments. Second, its emotional expression. Kundiman songs are known for their emotional depth and expression. They often convey feelings of love, longing, patriotism, or social issues. The lyrics of Kundiman songs reflect these emotions. Use of Tagalog Lyrics Kundiman songs are predominantly sung in the Tagalog language, the national language of the Philippines. The lyrics are often poetic and express sentiments of love, heartbreak, nature, and nationalism. Next, it's rhythmic patterns. Kundiman songs generally follow a moderate tempo, allowing the singer to convey the emotions effectively. The rhythmic patterns are typically in triple meter, giving a sense of lilting and waltz-like quality to the music. Use of traditional instruments Traditional Philippine musical instruments such as the guitar, banduria, and harana harp are commonly used to accompany Kundiman songs. Everyone, please listen to the song Nasaan Ka Irog by Nicanor Abilardo. After that, we will identify its characteristics. Sa ala ala, 
are the characteristics of nasaan ka irog. First, we have its melody. The melody of nasaan ka irog is typically lyrical and heartfelt. It often consists of long, melismatic phrases with expressive lips and ornamentations. Second, its vocal style. The singer uses subtle vocal techniques such as melismas and slides to convey the intricate emotion portrayed in the song. Third, its rhythm. The rhythm of the song is often slow and flowing with a gentle and languid fit. It follows a duple meter, two fourth or three fourth. Next, its lyrics. Nasaan ka irog are usually written in Tagalog or Filipino language. Last, its instrument. It is accompanied by a string instrument such as guitar, banduria, or octavina. These instruments provide a soft and delicate accompaniment that enhances the emotional quality of the song. Now, we will differentiate kondiman with the other forms of music. Now, we will focus on harana. So for our application, it is called Sing the Chorus. Direction, divide the class into two groups. Each group will be given one condiment song. Sing the chorus of the song only. Repeat it two times. Learn and practice your song. Incorporate appropriate pitch, rhythm, expression and style of the condiment song so the group one will be singing nasaan ka irog by nekanor abelardo and the group two will be singing pakiusap by francisco santiago after you practiced it i will give you 10 minutes only Perform it in front of the class. Do you understand class? Okay, very good. Note, appreciate and observe your classmates' performances. If they appropriately incorporate appropriate pitch, rhythm, expression, and style of condiment song. Give your feedback after their performances. Did you copy, guys? Okay, that's great. Now, let's group ourselves into two. Count off one, two, starting in front. Okay, now that you are divided into two groups, please start practicing your song. Now that 10 minutes had passed, let us settle down. Everyone, please take your seats and we will going to watch your classmates' performances. Now, group one, please go in front and we will going to watch your performance.
That's an excellent performance, Group 1. Now, Group 2, please go in front and perform. Wonderful performance, Group 2. Okay, class, please settle down and take your seats because we are going to give feedback to your classmates' performances, okay? Okay, now, um, are their performance incorporate the appropriate pitch, rhythm, expression, and style of Kundiman song? Yes, very good. They incorporate it to their performances. To wrap up our lesson, what are the characteristics of Kundiman song? Yes, Hiro. Very good, Hiro. Next, differentiate kundiman music from other forms of art music. There in our lesson, we have harana. Please differentiate kundiman music from harana. Okay? Yes, Vince, please answer my question. That's great, Vince. Now that you already apply and you already know what Kundiman is, let's have a test. Please prepare one fourth sheet of pod paper. I will show you questions and you will answer it in a capital letter. Remember, capital letter only okay are you done answering class Okay, so please pass your papers in front. I will be the one who will check your paper. I will bring it back to you tomorrow so that you will know your scores. Okay, so now for your assignment, you will create a reflection paper. Instruction, write a reflection, short reflection paper about your experience in performing Kundiman song focus on your understanding of the emotional and cultural aspects conveyed through the kundiman music um, you will put your reflection paper in a short size band paper font tahoma font size 12 okay copy class okay very good so that is the end of our lesson. Goodbye class, see you tomorrow.